here's a little bit of uh, Jeff Bezos news. Jeff Bezos, the guy who uh, thinks we should just build civilizations for rich people in space. The guy who's already trying to tap into the moon's water after already owning media, uh, owning food distribution via Whole Foods, and owning 50% of all online commerce. This guy's setting himself up to be emperor. The guy who tricked a bunch of cities into giving away billions of dollars worth of infrastructure information because he was trying to make a bunch of cities think he was considering them for a second location in, for Amazon. He wasn't. The whole time he knew exactly where the fuck he was going. He was going to go right next to the Pentagon and in New York City, baby. But he tricked a bunch of people into thinking he was actually looking. That guy... Guess what else he doesn't give a shit about? Climate change. Boom. I think the margins are fucked up on this one, too. Yeah, totally. All right. Jeff Bezos wouldn't even come on stage to listen to his employees who want Amazon to address climate change. All right. So this was, uh, this was to, uh, what, when was this from? It's saying Wednesday, but today is Tuesday. All right. So that's weird. Um, this article comes to us from the future. It was probably from last week. But um, at Amazon's meeting, employees and investors voted on a wide-ranging spate of proposals from banning the practice of selling facial recognition technology to adopting a serious plan to address climate change. Oh, two, two small matters. <laughs> Just two asides. Hey, should we continue this Orwellian fucked up facial recognition thing? Bezos probably said, yes, I have money to make from the CIA. But, uh, and also, should we do something about, you know, potential climate disaster? Should we do something about that? We got 12 years to act. Should we, should we, we have an F rating with all environmental agencies right now. We have an F rating. We're terrible for a community. We're as bad as Walmart. We're one of the biggest, we're the biggest company in the world. Our, our owner is the richest person the world has ever seen, pretty much. Should we do something? Nah. Now, I guess Bezos wouldn't even listen. Let's go back to the article. Each of the proposals ultimately failed. <laughs> they all failed. They were like, they were like, nope, there's money to be made from this facial recognition technology. And nope, there's money to be made at, uh, at denying climate change or, or just ignoring climate change, rather. We like the status quo the way it is. We're making money. We ain't doing shit about climate change. Jeff Bezos. And I guess he wouldn't even come out to listen. All right, so here, here's the meat here. We'll go, we'll go straight to this part. So in April, a group calling itself Amazon Employees for Climate Justice began circulating an open letter asking Bezos and the board to support the shareholder resolution and adopt a strong climate plan. The letter took off and nearly 7,700 Amazon employees have signed on, marking the movement one of the largest efforts to tackle climate change inside a corporation ever attempted. ISS and Glass Lewis, two of the largest proxy advisors to institutional investors, came out in support of a yes vote on the resolution. And yet, at the shareholder meeting, Bezos was unfazed. <laughs> Though he was present, the CEO remained backstage. More than 50 Amazon employees also attended the meeting, according to the AECJ, where, uh, and that's the uh, Amazon Employees for Climate Justice, where Cunningham delivered an impassioned speech to shareholders, urging them to support the resolution. Dozens stood with her as she delivered the, her remarks. These are his employees, and he wouldn't even listen to them. Hey, we want to speak about club. La, 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 I'm Jeff Bezos. I'm a real-life Lex Luthor. I behave like a comic book villain. La, 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 climate change. I don't give a shit. I'm going to build my city in space. I actually already have it built. I'm divorced now. I have my bachelor pad up there. La la la. I can't hear you. These are his own employees. And he wouldn't even hear them out. And what are they asking for? They're not even asking for a raise. They're not asking for better benefits. They're not asking for more time off. They're asking that one of the most powerful people on the fucking planet and one of the most powerful companies on the fucking planet do something about climate disaster. And he wouldn't even listen to them. Holy shit. Wow. That guy. What a leader. That, that's great leadership. That's great. I need some water. I need some water. La, la, la. Hey, climate change. La, 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 la. That's his reaction. You say climate change. He said, la, 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 la. I have a spaceship. I have a spaceship. He probably does. 
He probably has a rocket. It's going to go to a city that he already built. His water supply is the moon, and he's just going to he's just going to he's going to have a, a big uh, a, a big satellite that's just going to project him on a screen, and he's just going to be going like this to planet Earth, while we all while our climate continues to go to shit. Jeff Bezos. There you go. There you go. He he opposes Trump though. <laughs> he's part of the resistance, right? Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and 